Alright, we are in District 19. Today, we're going to bring you to this project called Affinity at Serangoon, which is going to TOP in a six months' time. We're going to bring you to this two beta that is going at an attractive asking price of $1.1 million. And if, let's say, you want to enjoy the first mover advantage, be the first to move in, you want to be in an area packed full of amenities as well as connectivity because just a short walking distance away, they'll bring us towards Serangoon North MRT Station on the Cross Island Line. Then drive properly, brothers, along this home tour. Let's go! If you could summarize the location in a quick brief, Rangoon North, I think as we all know, this is a mature estate packed full of amenities because just as you head down there bring us towards where all the amenities are, you have the hawker center, the food courts, the NTUCs, wet markets, it is all within easy access. And then of course, as you head further down there, bring us towards Serangoon North MRT station stated to be ready by 2030. And of course, for this project, being in a mature estate, this is the newest project that you can find slated to TOP in the next three to six months time. I think this is an exciting area to be in because you can either buy this for your own stay in terms of the connectivity, it is wonderful. Otherwise, you can easily put up for rental, which will dive deeper in terms of the rental performance for this two beta as well as how it fares amongst the rest of the other projects. So stay tuned and join us as we head back to the studio. Alright, so we are back in our studio. Let us pull out the map just to give you a quick orientation in terms of where we are located. For Affinity at Serangoon, if you were to take a look at the map itself, we are situated right at Serangoon North in terms of the location. Just a short 300 meters away, that will bring us towards Serangoon North MRT Station. Following along the entire Cross Island Line, which is stated to be ready by 2030, that will bring us one stop down towards Amokyo Station, which will lead us towards the North South Line. On the other side, that will bring us towards Aukang, which will be the main interchange. Just to dive a little bit deeper in terms of Aukang first, what's going to happen in Aukang if you pull out the URI master plan, you'll notice that there's this light blue zone and what this light blue zone means is that potentially that might be what we are seeing in Bangkok where we have the shopping mall as well as the residential development. So this entire development might take shape in line with the cross island line that will be ready in 2030. Of course, this is just purely based on speculation. As we look just one plot down, that will bring us towards another residential plot which is seeing on a 3.5 plot ratio in terms of the grand scheme of what this plot means to you as a buyer, if let's say you're buying into Affinity S Rangoon, also means that there's going to be future rejuvenation. And this rejuvenation is going to be in line with what is going to happen right at Pai Lebar Air Base, which is just further down on the map. Of course, I think as you all know, what is going to change in terms of Pai Lebar Air Base is that by 2030, the shifting of Pai Lebar Air Base will then slowly start to progress. And what's going to transform as Pai Lebar Air Base will then be in terms of work lift, play concept, where there's going to be business set up, going to be there, residential developments. Of course, the final blueprint has yet to be finalized, but all in all, I think there's going to be exciting development happening within the entire D19 enclave. Coming back to where we are located, now District 19 predominantly, they have a good mix in terms of the older HDBs, landed enclave, which is one of the most popular landed enclave in Singapore, as well as some private residential development, with the rest of the private residential development having a balanced age of about 70 odd years. With the newest one, at Forest Woods as well as Garden Residences which is just located just right beside now coming back to this project, Affinity at Serangoon, now this is a mega project spread across 1,012 units with 5 commercial units. In terms of the unit configuration, they have 1 bidder all the way to a 4 bidder and for the strata landed, they have the 4 bidder as well as the 5 bidder. And the unit that we're going to show you today is a 2 bidder unit. Now in terms of the 2 bidder layout configuration, there are largely 4 different layouts. If let's say you're someone that wish to go for a 2 bid, 2 bath configuration, they are averaging between the size of 730 odd square feet to 750 odd square feet. But if let's say you are someone that wish to keep your your entire quantum smaller, you might then want to choose the 2 bit one bath configuration because in terms of overall size, that is having a disparity of 100 over square feet. That will represent a price quantum difference of about $200,000. So all in all, if let's say you're someone that wish to keep the price quantum palatable at the asking price of $1.1 million and yet you do not need the additional bathroom, but you want to have a good overall internal space of about 624 square feet, which is a 2 plus study type of configuration, then these units might be the one that you want to consider.
If you have to pull out a floor plan, 624 square feet for 2 plus study, I would say in terms of the overall configuration, this is extremely efficient. The moment you enter the door, you have the storage as well as DB box that is located on the left. That will lead us all the way through the kitchen area. In terms of the kitchen configuration, they are lining up in a straight line fashion where you have the induction hood, your basin, as well as the under storage washer and dryer. So kitchen is of a good size. If let's say you wish to enclose up the space, you can still do so right along the entire wall line that flushes towards the start of the study area. And as you move further beyond, you have the study room on the right hand side. As you head right in, there is where you have your dining space as well as your living hall. Right adjacent towards the living hall is where you have your balcony. And the stack that we are located at is on stack 23 and if you pull out the side plan, superimposing our floor plan against the side plan, you'll notice that this actually allows us to overlook across the strata lander that is right in front of us. So even though our unit is on the low floor, but for the strata lander, they are only at a maximum height of level 2, including the entire roof structure for our units. That will still allow us to look across the strata lander and beyond towards the open field that we are seeing right now. So all in all, I would say in terms of the stack as well, as the facing. This is definitely considered to be on a premium stack because you are having this beautiful clear view that overlooks towards the green field and you're on a quiet stack that is located towards the corner of the entire condo development. Of course, you have the option to have the dining table to be positioned right at the balcony, especially having this quiet facing, thereby freeing up the space towards the living area. And of course, you can expand your sofa set if let's say you are a fan of hosting. And as you head on towards the bedroom, now in terms of the bedroom size, both are able to fit in at least a queen size. In terms of the size, that is definitely very sizable. Now, wardrobes is provided by the developer and right across the common bedroom is where you have the bathroom that is being shared between the common bedroom as well as the master bedroom. Now, good size bathroom and all the sanitary beds are of course provided by the developer so the good thing about buying into this unit is that you get to enjoy the first mover advantage. Almost everything has been provided for. What you need to do is just to install your lights, get your curtains, get the rest of the other furniture as well as some of the appliances. And I think you're all set to go. As we head on towards the master bedroom, master bedroom is again of a very good size. Wardrobe has been provided in terms of the bedrooms as well as the living room. You're all having the same frontage area that overlooks towards this quiet facing. Now at this current juncture, you might be thinking, hey, should I be buying into a 2-bed, 1-bath or should I be buying into a 2-bed, two 2-bath? Two just for the purpose of the comparison, we're going to pull out the 2-bed, two 2-bath two floor plan just to let you have a glimpse in terms of the differences between the two different layouts. Naturally, you will then have a slightly bigger size in terms of the bedrooms and of course, you will also have the additional bathroom. Overall, in terms of the size, that is 100 over square feet larger than the 2-bed, 1-bath and that will also increase your overall quantum purchase. We're going to deep dive in terms of the numbers just to help you make sense as to why we it makes sense for you to buy into a two bed one bath firstly for home to stay and then after that transiting into a full rental place. Now to help you make sense in terms of the number, you're going to take a look in terms of the price point across a new condo development that is going to reach its TOP especially towards the D19 area. Starting from Garden Residences, which has already TOP, average price point for 2 bed 1 bath is at about $1.15 million. As you move down, that will bring us towards Florence Residences, average price point is at $1.2 million. Riverfront Residences, that is located further away at Aukang area, that will be at about $1.1 million. And last but not least, for our units, Affinity at Serangoon for this 2 bed 1 bath that is sitting on a slightly bigger size, asking price is at $1.1 million. Now the discussion that you are thinking, okay, if let's say I'm to go for 2 bed 2 bath, how would the price point be like for some of these projects? For gardens, average price point is at $1.28 million, Florence at $1.3, Riverfront Residences at $1.2, Affinity at Serangoon at $1.3 million. Putting these numbers aside, if let's say we were to take a look in terms of the rental for a 2 bed 1 bath rental that has already been transacted, the closest comparison that we can look at would then be at Garden Residences which is just right beside. For Garden Residences, 2 bed 1 bath has already transacted at $3,500. For 2 bed 2 bath, that is already transacted at $3,009. Putting all these numbers in terms of the asking price at Affinity at Serangoon, respectively for a 2 bed 1 bath as well as a 2 bed 2 bath going at 1.1 as well as $1.3 million, we can take a look in terms of the rental yield for a 2 bed 1 bath in terms of the rental yield that will slightly be higher at 3.8% and for the 2 bed 2 bath that will be at 3.6%. So all in all, between the 2 bed 1 bath 
price is too big, too buff. The price disparity is about hundred odd to two hundred thousand dollars. But in terms of the rental yield for two big, one buff, which has already been transacted in the market, it is going at a slightly higher rental yield at about three point eight percent compared to the two big, two buff at three point six percent. So let's say your strategy is to buy into something that you can stay very comfortably two big, one buff. Then you might want to go for this option, and then after that, go into a full rental play, especially with the kind of transformation that we are expecting to take shape in D nineteen, and with all these work and play rejuvenation that is expected to take place towards the Pi Labor side. We will definitely expect to see a healthy tenant demand and this will definitely goes down well in terms of your rental play strategy. So if let's say you're someone that wish to enter into the market for a two beta but you want to keep your price quantum palatable, entering at one of the lowest entry quantum that you can find in today's market, then I think for this two plus study, one buff at Affinity at Serangoon definitely suits well in terms of your strategy. Now for this mega project, you'll be spoiled for choices in terms of the facilities. You have the clubhouse, function room, 50 meter slab pool, beach front deck, beach front lawn. You have various spas that is scattered around the entire development. You have barbecue pit, pavilion, family pool, kids pool, tennis court. There's even a small trekking path, various gardens. You get the idea. And not forgetting that we have five commercial units, so I think that's going to increase the conveniences in this development. So you can practically stay in your condo development even over the weekends. But if let's say you were to head out for a Amenities just nearby, you have all the food options that is within walking distance that is located right at the HDB clusters. Otherwise, you can always head down towards Serangoon Gardens, find lots of food options, your amenities, or you can head down towards Serangoon next or towards Aokang where you can find more options for your daily groceries needs. For school options within 1km, you have Rosai School as well as Zhonghua Primary School. Of course, the school options will also add on to your tenant's pool. And with that, we come to the end of this studio shoot for Affinity at Serangoon for this 2 big one buff, standing at a size of 624 square feet at an attractive asking price of $1.1 million. And if you want to have the first mover advantage before all the rest of the transactions start to clock in and you want to move into a place where you can stay comfortably and move into a rental strategy in future, going at one of the lowest entry quantum that you can find in an area where it's packed with amenities in District 19, one came to Rosyth as well as walking distance to the upcoming MRT station on Serangoon North. And if you'd like to find out more, do get in touch with our listing team. The contact details are down below. Subscribe to our various channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. My name is George Ping from Property Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Take care. <laughs> Most importantly, you must see <laughs> yeah, right. But I think earlier we like see a bit of the, the wood, ah, the top, uh. the top, uh. the top. <laughs> Hey, Jiechai, uh, which one is the main cam? This, the main cam. this one, ah. Uh. Yeah. All right. I love this angle. I always remember this side. Your best, your best angle, huh? Best angle is like this, lah. <laughs> but.